Where my shit at? Y'all don't get the rest. Um, yo, what's up, man? You know, Fish Gang Podcast. Fish Gang Podcast. Welcome to the motherfucking tank. We in this bitch. We are in okay. the tank. We're tanking. <laughs> Scuba diving we're, we're, and shit. We're, we're tanking over the world. Oh shit, we're tanking. Taking over the world. Are we Reinhardt tanking. from Overwatch? No, because he's a tank. I anyway, think. I never played Overwatch. <laughs> Anyway, uh, who the fuck are you, man? Who the fuck am I? Who the fuck is you? Who? <laughs> Morgan. Morgan, what the fuck? Uh, uh. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, hello, my name is Chris. Welcome to the fucking In the Tank podcast with the wonderful and most talented actor and fucking slash rapper I've ever met, Brandon, right here. Yeah. <laughs> no, so, no. So I'm humble. okay. I, I'm okay. Yeah, he was really good, man. I he, I used to be better. <laughs> uh, hello, my name is Brandon. I'm a formerly better actor. Rap. Oh, actor, rapper. <laughs> We're still on the acting thing. Oh my god. Uh, um, so, so, how you been, what, man? What's, what's, what's the show about? Forget about introductions right now. What's the show about? Hey, look, this show is, man, just for two homies to hang out. And if you guys want to listen in on what what craziness we're talking about then you can join in and M- most of these most of the shit on this show is join Fish Gang join <laughs> follow Fish Gang on Twitter uh, follow Fish Gang uh, follow us at, at fishgang.org are you an actual gang? no in <laughs> case I mean yes just don't tell my mom yeah I know but um on in all, on all seriousness the show is just pretty much just two good friends from high school just shooting the shit you know, reminiscing about old memories and talk about the things that we fucking love. Yeah. Music and video games and movies, for example. Yeah. So, Speaking of uh, video games. Excellent segue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, th- thank you. Oh, you're, you're so humble. Yeah. Um, what have you been playing? Um, well, recently I've been playing a lot of uh, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, the newest, I've heard of that. the newest game from From Software, which yeah. is the creators of Dark Souls and Demon Souls and Bloodborne. Right. And uh, it's really different. The formula for fighting and combat and just the mechanics itself is very, very different compared to its uh, count its counterparts in the past. How how so? Well, for one, there's no fucking stamina bar, which is crazy so you're just hack and slashing i wouldn't say hack and slash like a good example of a hack and slash game would be obviously devil may cry or uh, ninja gaiden or Ni- exactly ninja gaiden or uh fucking uh god of war yeah. but no um in demon I'm, I'm just gonna backtrack a little bit in demon souls and dark souls and bloodborne most of your actions relied on a uh on a stamina bar mm-hmm. which when i say actions I, I i mean your attacks your evasion Mm-hmm. And uh, your special moves, depending on what weapon you have, or right. what or what in Dark Souls Three calls weapon arcs, they weren't though those weren't present in the previous games. But um, it's really weird because in the de- in the de- from Demon Souls to Bloodborne, you couldn't even jump. Well, yeah. yeah Most of the times you had to like find a ladder, or if you're lucky enough to find a, a break in the game to where you could, you know, you could jump, but not in the traditional sense of like a ninja guy or anything where you jump vertically. You'd have to sprint and then press either the stick or press the evade button twice to do a quick, yeah, like a forward jump, not a vertical jump. But in Sekiro, you play as a shinobi, a badass shinobi with a fucking prosthetic arm that can like add like fucking ninja shuriken, axes, dynamites, or my bad, firecrackers. You know, mm-hmm. you know each each tool had its own specific purpose for whatever situation that you needed it in. Mm. And it was really interesting. It was a really good mechanic because it was very. It's very similar to Dark Souls, but at the same time, it's not. Mm. Is it hard? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Like, there's no. no such thing as a casual run for that game. No. I mean, if you try for your own, if you try for a casual casual run, you're gonna die. You would die. And <laughs> Just... like, um, after I gotten a lot better at Dark Souls three and Bloodborne, collectively in a total, I've died like maybe at least a hundred, hundred and seventeen times. Shit. Well, in uh, in Sekiro, I'm barely on New Game Plus One, mm-hmm. 
and I've done a total, a collective total of 197 times. I've kept track. Jesus Christ. And the reason I kept track is because I've kept up with this game since, like, its announcement. I think it was Gamescon. Or... Yeah, you were talking about months before it came out. Absolutely, and it was the first, well, that game, Sekiro, Shadows That Twice, and Kingdom Hearts 3 are the first two games I have ever pre-ordered. Mm. Ever. And I, I before that, I never believed in pre-ordering because I thought it was just stupid, but realizing that now, I got it, I got it early by, like, six hours. So it was worth it, I guess. Yeah. It was pretty cool. I mean, like, when I first started playing it, I nutted. Mm. Like, nut. I nutted. <laughs> I had to... I had to go home from PJ's house because I had to use his Wi-Fi to download it and yeah. install it and everything. I had to go home, change my pants, and as soon as I picked up the controller and started the game, I nutted again. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so I had to go back home <laughs> and get another pair of pants. Wow. But um, it's a great game. I highly recommend it if you're in for a real challenge. And, you know, it's it's weird. It's like a, it's like a Ninja Bloodborne. If you ever Ninja played Bloodborne? Blood, Ninja Bloodborne. It's really, it's, it's honestly a different experience, and I, I still have fun playing with it, even though I already have parts that I fucking hate, <laughs> even on my second playthrough. Yeah. But uh, what about you? Any uh, particular games have piqued your interest? Um, honestly... Any guilty pleasures? Jump Force, probably. Really? <laughs> any, uh, any elaborations yeah. on it? Well, yes. I like the gameplay, but, I mean, if we're talking... You know, just overall story and just how a right. game should be. Uh -huh. It's not that good. <laughs> uh, indulge me. I want to know. Like, um, so, like, a lot of the graphics and how the characters move and how they interact and, you know, just basic animation. Oh it just, some of it seems so half-assed. Really? Just based, like, like, I've never seen a bronze Super Saiyan. A bronze Super Saiyan. Like, they made Goku, like, the way they did the animation was trying to apply animation to, like, realistic animation. Like, in a way of, like, showing real-world things with animation. Like, real-world mocap with, like, artificial? Yeah, it's or like, like basically a CGI animated freaking computerized game version of Goku. Like, so, imagine a a Goku character model from Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tekachi 3. Oh. You know, fused with the CGI from the Broly movie. But it didn't mix well. No. <laughs> and some of the animation, like, they look like they get stuck. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I played it a few nights ago with some friends of mine, and it kind of bothered me how they would run. Yeah, I know it's a small thing, but it's a small thing. But it's it kind of it's, it's, it's like in San Andreas. Like I never liked his run, where it was just like, <laughs> ah, ah. Yeah, like no, no, no. no I know no, what you no. mean. And for the record, we have no knowledge of how games are built. We're just no, no, we're no. Just like we trying our best. I have to sound no smart. idea. <laughs> yeah. um, I have no idea how to even try to start to make a video game. Either can I, dude. Those guys, the, guys, the producers and developers of video games, you guys are fucking geniuses. Yeah. I, I applaud you guys and your intellect on animation and computer generation and everything. And honestly, but I, I will criticize. We have we have a right to criticize because we are critics. We are big video gamers. But I will yeah. give you a giant applaud. Give my hand, man. Oh, the traditional slow clap. Jump Force put a a, a stain on my heart. Really? Yeah, because I was really hoping it was going to be like something better than monumental. Better than J-Star's victory? Yeah, you know, or something <sighs> better than that piece of shit All-Stars game, even though you like it. I, I didn't say I liked it. Oh, you didn't like All-Stars? I, I wasn't hating on it, but I'm not a fan of it. Uh, I mean, it was, it, it, it's kind of like a love-hate relationship with that game. Like, I have a love-hate relationship with Dark Souls. All I play is this Kratos. Are we talking about Bal Bal St All Stars Battle Royale from yes. PlayStation Four and Three? Yes. Okay, we're talking about that game. I'm going to get so much hate from this. I actually liked that game. I thought we were talking about J Stars. No, 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 no. I have a love hate relationship with that game with um with Battle Roy with All Stars Battle Royale for PlayStation Three with all the PlayStation exclusive video game characters, with an exception of certain characters. Um, I liked it. I got it for my birthday. I think when I was like 16, 17. 
it was a while it was a long while ago I think it was way before I got the PS4 and um, it, it, it was weird I mean, it was a fun thing I mean it was like for me it was like oh my god it's a fucking uh, it, it's Smash Bros for PlayStation characters basically I could play Sackboy and beat the shit out of uh, fucking what's his name uh, Sly Cooper hit yeah. him in the sack with Sackboy fuck that raccoon <laughs> the fucking raccoon yeah it was it was a cool idea, but I think they really I think they definitely half assed that shit. No, they did. They yeah, definitely they did. They definitely did. I mean, they were trying to they were trying release to... a video game on top of the fact that the Broly movie was coming out. I mean, it was like literally a month or two after. J- B- B- All Star? Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, uh Jump Force. Oh, Jump Force, yeah. After the Broly movie. They tried to like plan that shit. And the weird thing about Jump Force is like from the guy, the guy, the friends that I played with, who are absolutely murderous in that game. Like I fought against them, and they didn't show me any mercy. No. That when I lost to him, I was like, "Damn, dude, can you give me some fucking slack?" And he's like, "Nah, man, get good. Yeah, just get, get good fucking or good. Die, like, bitch. Pretty much, he just <laughs> fucking annihilated me in that game. That's basically Hayden. You know how in. Yeah, Hay- Hayden is a good friend beats of ours. The fuck out of us. Hayden in is injustice. a very, Hayden is a very good friend of ours, and. He's a dick when it comes to injustice. Yeah, injustice too. Don't let him me. get him. Don't let his. Don't let him get his hands on Harley Quinn. Oh no, Harley no. Quinn is his fucking like all time trump card. Yeah, he's gonna try to use Harley Quinn on you every fucking time, and you're gonna get annoyed so much. You will want to quit video games. He's gonna throw it. stupid ass cupcakes at you. Yep. He's gonna just do the stupid, stupid little ass cart gun wheel shit. shit and it's all that. Same same thing in um, Dead or Alive. Same yeah, same Dead shit. Or... But in Dead or Alive, like we're pretty equal. Well, you I mean, and him are pretty equal. And in and in injustice, but it's well, just I don't know. I kept dick. on be I kept on beating y'all's asses with Zach in that weird costume. Yeah, that fucking who are you again? I was playing as Zach. Zach or, yeah, you're playing as yeah, Zach, Zach from uh, Dead or Alive. Yeah, that's... Zach. Zach's a char- is a is a character, <laughs> and I never played as him before. When I chose him, he had all the co- Hayden had all the costumes unlocked, and he had this weird greenish or. or Alternate color where one's green and one's like emerald. It was a fucking alien suit with a fucking like weird antenna on his fucking forehead that dangled. He, li- he looked like a black robotic version of Majin Buu. Pretty <laughs> much, except like, with the except with his look, little dangly what? head, head uh, leaning leaning forward. And yeah, it was so funny because I would get them. I would always get him and Brandon in this one kick combo and little beam shit and little beam thing. Yeah, he I had like just, a little beam on his little antenna, which is zap the fuck out of him. And, yeah, they hated sure. me as much as he. We hate Hayden when it comes to fucking Harley Quinn. Yeah, we had to put that thing down. Oh yeah, before yeah. fists were gonna go up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, damn man, man, good times. Good times. Good, j- Jesus. Definitely good that times. was like what three or four years ago. I would say maybe two to four years ago. Yeah, give or take. Jesus. We were still in high school. Yeah, man, and we just graduated like fuck, like a year, soon to be a year ago. Yeah, about to be a year now. About to be a year. Jesus. How weird is that? That is weird, man. Or it has been a year. I'm not has sure. I mean, what, what, what day did we graduate? June 2nd, 2018. God. So, damn. yeah, almost a year. Almost a year. So, after this June, yes. It's going to be a definite year. Yeah. Man. Yeah. It is fucking crazy how, t- how fast time flies. I remember um, a long time ago when I was still in eighth grade... I went to a family get together, and I believe my cousin Shelly told me, "You need to have fun, have as much fun as you can in high school, because it'll go by fast." Yeah. And obviously, back back when you're younger, you're just like, "I hate school. I don't want to go back." Yeah. But as soon as that time flies, you yeah. wish it come back. Yeah, you you want to like. Yeah. You start rethinking your whole life, man. Pretty like, much. Just, you're like, damn, I should have studied more. <laughs> not even that, yeah, yeah. I should have had more yeah, fun in high yeah. school. Or that too. That too. I'm not gonna lie, I had a lot of fun in high school. It was yeah, uh, we had fun. We had a lot of fun. We had fun. Had theater fun. was good. Tech theater was fun for me. I wasn't much of an acting type. Yeah. Even though you are funny and you do funny impressions. I I try. Yeah. I get my comedy chop from my mother. I'm okay, Dad. I'm okay, Dad. <laughs> what a for those of you who don't know what we're quoting, there is a video <laughs> of a, it's a crossover between King of the Hill and fucking and fucking Pokemon, 
where um, greatest thing ever. It is the greatest thing ever. I will not lie. And I'm not a big fan of Pokemon. You can hate on me all you fucking want. I don't care. But um, I, boo. Fuck off. Boo. <laughs> But um, everybody that everybody that is a fan of Pokemon right now is gonna get on your ass. Uh, I don't care. Yeah, I don't. Care. <laughs> I mean, I do care for our viewers. I hope you guys don't hate. I'm me still gonna much. go see Pokemon True Detective. Are you really gonna go see uh, that True movie? Detective? Uh, the Poke- fucking Pikachu agent. Detective. Or Pokemon De- True Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu. Pokemon po- Pokemon True Detective. We'll talk about the that. rated R version of we'll talk, Pokemon. We'll talk about that after. Uh, the video that I was ta- that we were quoting is a is a crossover between King of the Hill. And, and Pokemon. Pokemon. And it's basically Ash, Ka- Ash Ketchum. His face is replaced completely with Hank Hill's face. And he su- he calls out Butterfree to, t- to attack. And Butterfree gets hit. <laughs> exactly. And um, what happens is he runs towards Butterfree. Mm-hmm. And he's like, Butterfree! <laughs> and then Butterfree just slowly rises up, not facing Hank Hill. Turns around and it's Bobby's face on Butterfree's face. I'm okay, Dad. And he, that's what he says. I'm okay, Dad. <laughs> and it's that's just so stupid. fucking stupid. <laughs> it is one of the stupidest videos that I could ever love. Virginia. Great segue to yeah, another thing. To another. Love. There's um, one of my favorite artists, a uh, sketch art, a drawing artist, Oni Ng, or as he's known on, or that's his YouTube name. Um, his real name is Chris O'Neill. God bless him. He is a fucking master drawing <laughs> crazy ass shit yeah a long time like maybe three or four years ago he he posted a video called dragon's ball p <laughs> and <laughs> pp that's a sequel we'll get to that <laughs> and like i don't know what his style of drawing is i guess it's like his own because it's so unique and it's i've never seen anything like it well, reminds me of fairly all parents does it really no, remind no, you of no, fairly of all parents not. it's like it's it's very unique guys it's, it's if you're looking for a funny, just Disgust. a good time of a video, just go and check that out. Dragon Ball. And if you're a Dragon Ball fan, of you'll course. fucking have a blast. You will absolutely. You will. <laughs> it's the greatest. Thing. It's great. If you never want a Dragon Ball to be serious, this is this is this is where you can find absolutely. it. Absolutely. If you want a Dragon Ball just to be like a stick, you know, stupid gags and jokes, here you go. I highly recommend that. Video. Highly recommend this show absolutely. and great. Great animation, absolutely. <laughs> Just, and it's all it's all drawn and all hand animated drawn. by him. All hand drawn and. Well, animated. I wouldn't say hand drawn. I'd say like done on computer, but with a tablet. Or... He does it with a felt pen. <laughs> a felt pen. A felt pen. A fucking black magic marker. A fucking black magic marker. <laughs> Wait, is, is that is that why you said that? Exactly. Uh, oh wow. We're both big fans of Quentin Tarantino, especially Pulp Fiction. I just watched that movie with Elise. Uh, uh, literally, well, we almost finished it. We had we. Got to the part where Zed's dead. Who is Zed? Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. <laughs> and that's literally what I told Elise at that final part. I said, we'll finish it the other, the last chapter. Did she ask what what, what happened to Zed? Please tell me she did. Oh, oh, Delise? Yeah. Oh, no, she saw what happened to Zed. <laughs> <laughs> but we all did. Oh, everybody did. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. Man. I'm going to get medieval on your ass. Get some hard pipe hitting motherfuckers. You hear me, Billy Boy? I ain't through with you by damn spite. I'm gonna get medieval on I'm your ass. ass. I'm talking about what's happening between me and you. Oh, that what now? That's what he said. I'll tell you what oh, there man. is. There is no oh, you and me. me. Two things. Six. <laughs> I think, was it? One. You never tell a soul or anybody about yeah, this one, shit. You never tell anybody about this. Two, you lo- you get it gone. Wait, wait, wait. He's like, no. you leave town tonight. And when you're gone, you, you stay, stay gone. gone. Or you, you be gone. gone. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Marcellus Wallace, you are a fucking character. Rest in peace. Wait, is he the one? Wait, what? Is, did he pass away? I think you're talking about Michael Clark Duncan. Yeah. Nah, he, he didn't play as Marcellus Wallace. Damn it. Michael Clark Duncan did pass away, who was a great, great... He was Kingpin. He was Kingpin in the Daredevil Yes, movie he was Kingpin, With right? Ben okay, Affleck. All right, yeah. Which, I admit... Yeah, that... Well, he was, was a fucking great actor. Yeah. And... I mean, Daredevil, Daredevil, Daredevil movie, yeah. I mean, well, it's a love-hate thing, but I loved it. I mean, I was a kid when I first watched it, but I mean... Colin Farrell, is that... 
yeah, he, Colin Bullseye. Farrell played as Bullseye. Fucking shit, dude. Or peanuts, please. <laughs> oh my Bro, fucking god! I'm so glad he's a he got much better roles. <laughs> Just like, cause uh, that wasn't it, Chief. That I wasn't feeling that Bullseye. Uh, no. I kind of liked it, but no, I didn't you like didn't. the. No, you didn't. I was a fucking <laughs> kid. <laughs> if I could watch it again, maybe. Well, look um, at that target on his head. Yeah, that was kind of <laughs> retarded how, like, he was born with a fucking indented bull, bullseye on his, indebted into his forehead. Fucking drilled his brain. Like, what the hell was that shit? Bullseye. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Yeah, that shit was stupid. Since we're on the topic of movies, what mm. did you think, who do you think is the best Spider-Man? This may be controversial. This may be the first controversial topic on the show, ever. Ever? We're well, going to get people talking? I think so. Uh, What's your opinion? Best Spider-Man. Best Spider-Man? Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire, or Tom Holland? Well, if we're going to put it in terms of fuck, Mary kill... Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say fuck, Mary kill. Okay, so, um, I would say from... from, from um, pause. First one, first <laughs> one is the best. Last one is the worst. Um, then we'll do fuck Mary Kill. <laughs> then we'll do fuck Mary Kill. <laughs> then we'll do fuck Mary Kill. Alright. Then we'll do fuck Mary Kill. Alright, so um Tom Holland. Toby Maguire. And I really don't even want to put Andrew because I really don't like it. But yeah, that's it. Thank you. I did not like the Amazing Spider Man movies. Yeah. They Hollywooded the fuck out of it. Yeah, they really did. It was like Disney directing Spider Man. Oh. <laughs> It was, uh, but that 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 one scene with Gwen was sad. The that film. was sad. I will Spoilers. Admit. Sorry. Fuck. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> it's been like five years. I'm saying, when did that come out? 2014. I don't fucking remember. Oh my lord. Electro was dope though. Electro was badass. Was cool. I like Jamie, Jamie Foxx's Fox. Electro was dope. He had such charisma. Exactly. Jamie Foxx. He was really doing it. He was on the heels of Django though. He was, so he, he was, was Django. He, he was, he was, he was still feeling his Django. Oh, he was, in, he was in his Django acting bag. So, but he, he did, he, he <laughs> just, oh, man, he had the charm of Django, but at the same time, the nerdiness of a fucking like just straight up comic book nerd. Yeah, and like, I don't know why he had but, that comic book villain esque, but he still had like the the charm of Django. Yeah, yeah, almost. And Django is one of my like a nerd Django, a modern Django. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> nah. I will say that. Uh, Django would be like my top three favorite Quentin Tarantino movies. Yeah, I think so. I would have to say Django. You put it higher than Pulp. <sighs> man, that's hard. Oh man, you know I will go as far as to say yes. I will say it's higher than Pulp. You will say it's higher than Pulp. I will say it's higher than Pulp. I will give you my top three: Django, Pulp, nah. and Inglorious Bastards. Django, Pulp, and Glorious Bastards. Yes, don't get I me can, wrong. I can fuck with those, but um, and Glorious Bastards was a work of fucking. If I'm art. doing top three, Pulp Fiction. Oh, this is hard because it's know, almost right? you can't you can't because I want to do one of the Kill Bills, but you can't pick one Kill Bill and not have another. Yeah, Volume One and Two are just you, so like, they, fucking they're tight good. together. So they're so good. Um, okay, how about this? We'll just consider Volume One and Two like just one, one film, okay. just one film, because they they're right, pretty much so the same premise. Pulp they, Fiction. Yeah. Kill Bill, and do you need to write it on the board, son? Uh, uh, <laughs> you know what? I'll say. Fucking damn, this is hard. It, it's hard, right? Django. Django. There you go. Yeah. Gotta do it. What Leo, I like... you still got my heart, boy. No, what I will no. say though, I think my my, mo- my most favorite part in all the move, the entire movie of Django, has to be Christoph Waltz. As, I mean, also, yeah, obviously. What was his character's name? He was the bounty hunter. He yeah, was he the, was. Uh, um, shit, what was his name, man? <sighs> man. Uh, was it Schultz? No, it wasn't Schultz. Yeah. It wasn't Schultz. Hmm. I hear some honking in the background. Sorry yeah, about we that. are in a garage right now. We're in a garage, an apartment complex. A very cozy garage, I may add. Thank you. Very Thank cozy. You. Very homey. Very homey. Thanks, homie. You're <laughs> welcome, homie. Thanks. <laughs> homie. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, what's going on in Houston, man? Well, Houston's just, like, going through 
menopause just a, or something. Yeah, I don't know. Texas, Mother Nature and Texas Houston is weather crazy. is just going crazy right now. It's what well, it's supposed to be spring, right? Yeah. It's fucking. It's supposed, cr- to be. it's supposed to be spring, and yet we're outside wearing fucking long fucking jeans, fucking boots, and fucking sweatshirts. Well, that's just me. Sweat, yeah. a sweat, a uh, hoodie, and whatever. It's just. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's a little tiresome, man. It's like. It gets real hot, then it goes real cold. Allergies are just fucking going out of the fucking window. You're hot and you're cold. You're yes, yes and you're no. no. I'm in and you're out. No. I'm up no, and no, you're no, down. No, no. Shout out to Katy Perry. Shout out to Katy Perry. Call oh, me. Shout out to all the Katy Perry fans out there. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I'm not a Katy Perry fan anymore, but, you know, shout out to her. Call me, Miss Perry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hit me up. Yeah. Uh, my number is five five five. Please give me your number. Five five five. Five 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 five. <laughs> oh man. Ugh. Shit. Well. What's on your mind, man? Nothing really much, man. It's just life is hard. Yeah. yeah. Anybody going through struggles out there? Seriously. Y'all uh, got any probation or any kind of shit you're going through? Who has two thumbs up is on probation. This guy. Hey. <laughs> e- illegal activities. Illegal activities. I wouldn't say illegal activities. Just fucking caught with weed at the wrong time. Yeah, it's almost like weed is not even illegal for me at this point. Like I. Oh, are you a bad boy? You you smoke the jazz cabbage? Oh yeah. Hell yeah! I do it for all the clout. You do it for all the clout, man. Yeah. Got the bong. Oh, it's beautiful. You know, I gotta clean it. It looks like a, you know. It looks like shit, man. Yeah, it does look like shit. Yeah. <laughs> but if it looks like shit, you know, you gotta hit. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> don't smoke cigarettes, kids. It kills your throat. Don't do drugs, kids. Well, don't do drugs because they're hella expensive. Yeah. Think about your investments. Yep. <laughs> and then do drugs. And then uh, invest in uh, a Coke supply. <laughs> Don't and do start Coke. distributing. Don't do Coke. Don't distribute. <laughs> Become guys. a drug lord. Be the kingpin. Be what Michael Clark Duncan was in Daredevil. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> you ever saw Sin City? I did. How do you feel about that movie? I love Sin City. You know, City. Quentin did uh, some uh, production and some, I think, some scene structure. Yeah, with Robert Rodriguez and yeah. Frank Miller, the author. He, was, was he the author? Yeah. Of the graph, he was the author of the graphic novel. So I don't think he was. Did he do the comic? Yeah, he did do the comic. He did books, do the I comic. Think. Yeah. And uh, for years, on my birth, uh, every year for my birthday, I've always asked, like, please give me the graphic novels of Sin City. Mm-hmm. I, I've, I have both movies at home, but I just want to read it. You know. How do you feel about the sequel? Sequel, yeah. uh, Dame to Kill for. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah, it was cool. It was, I liked it. it. Was, I mean, it had like a more modernized version of the previous one. Basically, with like it felt more. I want to say noir. Yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, but they're both shot in black and white, but have like, it felt more f- like there was more graphic filter to the coloration of the mo- of the mm-hmm. sequel, and it felt magic. It was magical. But like it was like, you know the. The graphic novel was on screen. Exactly, oh. and like I watched some behind the scenes of the first Sin City, and like Robert Rodriguez did exactly what he was gonna do. He mm-hmm. didn't want to make Robert Rodriguez presents. Robert Rodriguez Sin City he wanted to make a Frank Miller Sin City yeah and that's exactly what he did and it was just perfect and I can't I ha, I w- I'll easily say that the cast for both movies m- was the perfect choice uh, yeah Mickey work as um, Marv Bruce Willis as Lieutenant Hardigan Jessica Alba as Nancy Callahan aka uh, Cordelia and Elijah Wood is the creep in the first one remember that yeah, oh my god, what was his name, Michael? Yeah, something like that. That dude was a fucking freak, man. Hard to believe the same guy who played as Mumble from Happy Feet was also the creep from Sin I City. Know. Like It was awesome. Elijah Wood, go watch Maniac if you want to If you want to see Elijah Wood fucking go on a tangent and just start murdering a bunch of folks. Oh yeah? Yeah. Is that I, on Netflix? I, th- I think it is. We got all kinds of things on Netflix. Speaking of Netflix, um, B and Delise are into Full Metal Alchemist right now. Oh yeah, me and fun. my wife for the audience. Um, 
well, well soon, soon to be wife, to be wife. Yeah, congratulations to be wife. we'll we'll add in a, a a clap track yeah we'll add in a some <laughs> some applauses yeah because <laughs> we'll add in some clap tracks and you know all make that it a, we'll put in um hairsprays i can hear the bell <laughs> <laughs> jesus it'd be great but uh what, what do you, what do you th- hallelujah there's something in the lyrics, hallelujah, 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 Jesus. hallelujah. That shit was, I mean, here's here's a big question. Which version of hallelujah, uh, bleh, hallelujah, hallelujah do y'all like better? By which musician, band, uh, singer, uh, just lead, you know, whichever, which version of hallelujah? Well, like, what's your version of Hallelujah that you like better? And by the way, a viable answer would be the track they played in Shrek. That is a very plot. That's a very that valid answer. You can answer. use that answer. Yes. I won't. I like Jeff Buckley. Jeff Jeff Buckley's rendition. Of, really? Yeah, it's beautiful. I haven't heard it yet. You probably have to send me the link to it. That shit gives me chills. Really? Like good chills? Yeah. Mm. Honestly. Interesting. Take a look at that. If and plus, this man can. I don't even know how he can hold notes for this long, and the the riffs, the guitar work, everything he's he's playing the guitar live while singing at the same time, and I don't even know how he's doing it because he's pushing his vocals so far. But he's still keeping the melody still, of the guitar. Still, but it's like, how can you even move your fingers when you're like almost out of fucking breath? That's a real. Well, yeah, I mean, like, it's the same thing for a saxophone player. I mean, yeah. they're blowing their fucking diaphragm out with air. I mean, I'm a sa- I, I'm a I'm a used to be a saxophonist. I, I used to be a saxophonist. <laughs> Hello, uh, my name is Jose. I lo- uh, by the way, my first name is Jose, but I go by Chris. Jose Bose. Yeah. <laughs> or as the friends call me, Jose Chose. Chose. Because you know I'm half Mexican and shit like that. All right. <laughs> but, I'm um, white and Puerto Rican. Um, distant cousin of Post Malone and uh Wait, really? No, uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I How did how do, how, how have I not known this? Why would I be related to that motherfucker? <laughs> this, oh, this, so this is just bullshit. <laughs> this, this man is a fraud. Post yeah. Malone, I'm sorry. I am Post Malone. Call that's me. my twin. The one that's famous is the, <laughs> is the doppelganger. He he he, he took over. Yep. Yeah. He, he just had better melodies. Why I ever said this? <laughs> idea. Not, not really. We we're just joking. We're Post Malone, don't fuck with us, please. I mean, don't fuck with us at a. Post Malone, I'll send fire your way, bro. Bro. He's just joking. Sorry, I didn't even say that right. See, see, don't even take me serious. I couldn't even say bro right. You <laughs> case bro. I was like, bah. Fuck you, bro. Post Malone. I am the long distance cousin of Post Malone. They call me Most Baloney. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> They call me Arnold Morlin. Uh, Arnold Malone. <laughs> my, my song, his song, White Iverson. I have a darker uh, version. It's called Black Sun. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. I'm fucking God. awful. Jeez. Shout out to Post Malone. <laughs> okay, Shout out to Post Malone. You're a great <laughs> artist. Love to have you on here if we ever get the chance to. He won't fucking come on here. Hey, man, let a guy have hope. Yeah, I mean, if he came on here, I mean, I'd kill him in a verse. You think you could beat Post Malone at a verse? You know me? Yes. Really? Yes, I yes. Is this a sh- yes. is this calling out to Post Malone? Post Malone, homie, you all you do is melodies, fam. All you do is melodies and sing. You're not a battle rapper, you can't rap, and you can't diss. If you ain't oh gonna go at Yellow god. Wolf, you ain't gonna go at me. Oh my god, dude, you are gonna get your career fucked up. I'm just already. saying. Oh. He's not a rapper's rapper. He's a he's a hip hop artist. But you can't deny he has some pretty good jams. Of course. Yeah. I mean, you can't not listen not not listen to Post Malone. That is like the sweetest <laughs> call out I've ever fucking heard. I fall apart still makes me cry. Oh man, congratulations! Just made it. I, yeah. when, congratulations. When we, when we walked down the fucking aisle for uh, graduate, when we walked down the stage for graduation, that's the song that popped into my head. Mm. It was awesome. He does have some bangers. He does have he some has great some songs, hits. Um, and albums like you know in a you know in a what what is that word I'm looking for it in a cohesive way. I mean it's not so cohesive in the 
grand scheme of like the whole project as a whole mm -hmm. but i mean it's banger after banger after banger after banger i mean it's you're not you're always going to have something <laughs> you know from front to back you'll have that one song that you're just gonna be like yeah like i did that shit yeah you you won't yeah. like that shit well, what was it beer bongs and bentley's his last project i believe so i haven't really kept up with post malone yeah me either I just know he, uh, that yellow, yellow Wolf and him had a little back and forth. A, a little scuffle? A little, a little, well, Yellow Wolf dissed him. What? Yeah. He called him a cultural, cultural appropriation thief. Basically that Post Malone has been biting off of him, off of, you know, the culture itself. And that Post Malone's not really down with the hip hop culture like that. He's just kind of using it for like, you know, coin. I mean, you know, because he's not, he'll never say that, you know, that, you know, he's a rapper. I, I wouldn't even consider him a rapper. I just consider I him, don't. I consider him a musician. Uh, I never considered him a rapper or a really a hip hop. Well, he, I knew he had hip hop esque beats and stuff, but I always just considered him a vocalist, singer. I just consider him a great musician. Yeah, his, that too. His, his music really, it's, it's really unique in, in, in so many different ways compared to, I'll, I'll go far as to say he's Poser, like, biter, appropriation thief, give a fuck about how many records you sold every, uh, what do you say, every, every leaf you stole from my tree, that was Yellow Wolf said to host. Who the fuck calls himself? I'm not calling out anybody. I'm not <laughs> trying to diss anybody, but what the fuck is the name Yellow, that's his name, Yellow Wolf? Hey, man. That he's from the south. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. No, it really doesn't. What the fuck? I mean, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's more cows here than wolves. Cows and horses. Got the mm. horses in the back. Yeah. Dur, 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 dur. That song uh, needs to die. Like, immediately. The, yeah, no it, more 808s on country songs. What the fuck is that? Stop. Yeehaw we need to stop. We need to have a serious conversation about that. What, TikToks? Or, yeah, or... that too. Oh, God. Yeah. Y'all trying to bring back vines and shit like it, like... Like it was the great heyday. I mean, it grew. I mean, it, yes. Vines were great. It was okay. True. For a time. For a time, yeah. But there's a reason it left. <laughs> yeah. Why are y'all trying it to bring it back? Cancerous. And And it's even worse. I know. It's, it's not even as creative. It's not. All it is <laughs> is just lip syncing shit. And like literally just like I don't even know what people are doing now. Like they'll like just group you with a group and then you just do back and forth videos to each other or you fucking just like mimic the next thing if they fucking pose like someone mimics frame. it and you're supposed to mimic it at the same time and then you create a combination of you <sighs> doing the doing the same shit with all these different people it's so fucking stupid tiktok boy tiktok the only tiktok i'll ever recognize is that one great song from kesha tiktok yeah D no no bing bong what the fuck do you think i'm talking about uh, bing bong and dentley's sure <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Jeez. Oh, yeah, and uh, going back to Mr. Quentin Tarantino and his whole thing, he has a movie um, that's coming out soon. I don't know the date that's coming out. Was it just the teaser trailer or just the Red Band trailer? Uh, it was the trailer. Well, I mean, every, you know, Pulp Fiction. Well, I Pulp Fiction. Yeah, every every Quentin, Tarantino movie, Quentin Tarantino movie is going to have some kind of it's gonna be raw. Fucked up shit. Yeah, it's gonna be raw, even in the trailer. But they kept it vague. I think. Well, let's just say that Quentin Tarantino trailers for his movies are the Red Band, and there's no, there's no. Non you don't even need to say it's Red Band. It is Red Band. It, it there's it's Quentin's name on there. But it's that great. Quentin's name is the Red Band. It, 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 <laughs> that is the warning. Go in the Webster's <laughs> dictionary and look up Quentin Tarantino. It will just say Red, Red Band. Band. <laughs> 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 Red band. Quentin Tarantino. Every movie. <laughs> Quentin Tarantino. Every single one is a red band. <laughs> True. Tar Mr. Quint Mr. Tarantino, you're a fucking genius. Hey. And we love your movies. Absolutely, 100% love your movies. Please. You're not going to stop at 10. He's saying he's going to stop at 10. Stop at 10 movies? Yeah. What? He's on the ninth one. Oh. Really? Please Tarantino, say. please don't stop. Please, please just pull a please just pull a childish Gambino and say you're gonna stop, but then surprise us all with more. Please. Or just you know, just don't stop. Just or make some like you know some other projects with some other people. Get TV. other people's movies popping. Or a TV show. These know? people directing these other movies nowadays, man. Like, damn. 
There's some dry ass movies. Pull a fucking Oprah and have your own TV channel or TV station. Oh, have a fucking podcast. Or have a fucking podcast, yeah. Or you know, just you know, come on ours and you know. Yeah, come on ours and just kind of fuck around. That'd be awesome. Say whatever the hell you want on here. Then I could ask you, did you see what John Travolta looked like on the set of Hairspray? (laughs) Did you see him? Was it great? How weird was it to see Vincent Vega dress up as a woman (laughs) in a fat suit? Amen. Big Big Mama's house style. (laughs) Did did they have a conversation about that? I don't know, but I would love to see if they. I would love to know if they did. Yeah, me too. Um, Since we're, I'd say back on the trail of music, I need to. I forgot. I never did ask you. Who is your favorite artist, no matter what genre? Favorite artist, no matter what genre. If you want to, you can say your favorite artist in each genre that you listen to. Okay, so for rap, um, I guess all time for rap, I have to say either, and not, you know, this is not a fucking generic answer, but either Eminem or Lil Wayne. Okay. For rapper. For rap. Um, sorry for the dogs in the background. Um, for pop, I would have to go FKA Twigs or Beyonce. I know who Beyonce is. I have no idea who FKA Twigs is. Well, well, I can't really say Beyonce. I would say either FKA Twigs or Adele or Lady Gaga for pop. Oh, absolutely. Adele or Gaga. Uh, for soul and R&B, probably either Beyonce or Solange. Her or, sister? Yeah, her sister. Her, I sister, her, sister her sister is dope. Really? Fucking incredible. Go Who listen. knew the bitchy cheerleader? I, for, I forget what the fucking album's called, but it's something the table. I did not something. know the bitchy cheerleader from Bring It On Three All or Nothing was a singer. So a, a beautiful singer. Really? She yeah, really that she, good? Those vocals, like they're nothing like Beyonce. They're Better, so unique. Really? They're they're their own you know In their own universe. Own universe, and that's okay. great. So we, standing out. Okay, so we got Eminem or Lil Wayne for hip hop. Yeah. Uh, FKA Twigs for rap, right? Pop. For, for pop. Then Solange or Beyonce for, what was it, pop? R&B. R&B. Yeah, R&B okay. and soul. Okay, so we'd say that. Makes sense. Um, for <laughs> rock and roll. That's a tough one, ain't it? That's tough. Oh, you'd have to say Nirvana or the Beatles. Oh, classic. I mean, I'm not a, like, I, it's really... Nirvana, the Beatles, or fucking Queen. Oh, that's that's that goes without saying. Yeah. Um, for me, the Beatles, like, I've always wanted to get. I always wanted to listen to them and like like their music. It's just, it's just not for me. Like, it's. I don't hate the Beatles. I don't. People hype them up way too much because not every generation is going to bond with the former. With the former, you know, there there was a reason the Beatles hit and connected when it dropped because it was influential. Yeah, I mean, it was and a really, they were speaking on what was happening around that time. Exactly. So of course everyone was relating to that. Everyone already knows what kind, what those kind of songs and those topics are now. Worse, like music is so much repetitive now than it was back then. Back then yeah. you had so much unique shit and new shit coming out all the time. Yeah. Now you hear almost some of the same shit. Practically, and then remixes of old songs and shit. Exactly. I mean, Just re- re- new renditions and remakes and. You know, cut, copy, paste, and redux, some shit. Uh, yeah. redos, excuse me. You know, or like, completely like, just <laughs> stealing someone's song. <laughs> you know, ice. <laughs> vanilla Ice, Vanilla Ice, or fucking well, uh, I know, Drake. I don't know. That's controversial on the Vanilla Ice thing. Nah, I mean Vanilla Ice was he. he that's another topic. Yeah, that, but what, Drake's what, bitch ass. Whoa, what did Drake do? I mean, he's been biting people's shit for since what? Since Take Care. Since if you're reading, it's too late when he stole Party Next Door's whole flow, when he stole so many new artists' flow. Granted, I like Drake. I like him. Of course. Because he's always going to have, you know, just like Post Malone, he's always going to have that banger. <laughs> he's, just gonna have, he's always going to have that one. Um, but will I acknowledge the fact that he doesn't write and he isn't always original all the time? Yes. See, when he made that song "Starter from the Bottom," I kind of didn't like. I, 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 I'm not. I'm not gonna say I kind of didn't like it. I didn't like it. I felt the bullshit because I, I told this to my mother. When you didn't start from the bottom, they, exactly. To, he didn't start from the bottom. Like starting from the bottom is not like. For my definition, for my interpretation, being on a show. <laughs> for my interpretation, exactly. For my interpretation of him starting from the bottom, was 
he didn't start from just being like a normal kid and then wrote his way, wrote his own music to his way to the top. No, the motherfucker started on as a kid in, in a wheelchair. He grew up in Degrassi. Canada. He started off as a fucking kid in a goddamn wheelchair in Degrassi. He was a kid. How old was he? I don't know, like fucking 16, 17 maybe? Come on, fam. Yeah, come on, Drake. You can't ever say you start from the bottom ever again. Nope. Ever again. You, you, you can't, can't say you were on your lowest lows. You can't say you were down and out. You can never say that you came from the bottom. You started off as a goddamn teen heartthrob in a wheelchair who played basketball in a wheelchair. Own that shit. Own that shit, man. Make a fucking song about wheelchairs and Degrassi. <laughs> wheelchairs and Bentleys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Post Malone and Drake collab oh album. Oh my god. <laughs> That'd be so fucking great. <laughs> Jesus. But, um... What, what, do you... Wheelchairs and Bentleys. <laughs> the Degrassi Volume 2. The Degrassi Chronicles. <laughs> the Degrassi Chronicles? Oh my god. And that's their group name. That'd be awesome. Jesus. But no, it wouldn't make sense if they're Degra- the, the Degrassi Chronicles because then they both weren't in Degrassi. Mm-hmm. It would make, like, I don't know. If Post Malone was in a show, then it would be... Well, because, like, Post, like, you can make the whole thing of... Degrassi-themed? No, like, uh, they bring back Degrassi and Post Malone is a, a, an added character. God, that would be awesome. He'd be the bad boy with all the tattoos. It's like it's only for, but it's only for the song. So like the music video is like an episode of Degrassi. That's actually a pretty damn good idea for a spoof or a parody. Y'all take my shit. Y'all better pay me. Copywritten okay. motherfuckers. Okay, I don't, I don't mind giving out ideas, but I want my recognition. He wants, <laughs> he wants revenue. I don't even want money. Just say, hey, Brandon thought of it first. Fish Gang came up with it. Fish Gang came up with it first. Give me a shout out. You know, send me a beat. <laughs> and send him a small little check, a royalty check. A royalty check of just like two, you know, take it or leave it. Uh, Ten bucks, so I can get some pods for my jewel. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, imagine going to the bank and checking out fu- and cashing out a check of ten dollars. Buy OVO Records. <laughs> oh my fucking ten dollar check. <laughs> or Dr. Dre's. Hopefully. No, it's 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 Post Malone and Drake. They went in half. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you cash in two five dollar checks, <laughs> one by Drake and one by Post Malone. Yeah, man, they take care of me. <laughs> Every bi monthly, I get ten dollar checks, five dollar checks from one from Post Malone and one from Degrassi. Yeah. One from Living Drake. Living life, <laughs> living the real life. Shit, they supply my, they supply the funds for my jewels. Oh man, but if, um, would you say that's all your favorite artists? Or you, um, you still didn't do the one for rock and roll yet. Oh, yeah. Well, pretty much Nirvana or the Beatles. Nirvana or the Beatles. So but I'll cool. probably say Nirvana. Only because, you know, don't call me some, you know, generic, young hippie generational... Fuck. Hippie fuck? Yeah, hippie fuck. But I, it was the uh, actual first band that I listened to their whole discography. So, And learning that the, the man died. And plus he's basically a part of my rap name, Kurt Cobain. Uh... Yeah, big part of my life. Big, big influence. So, that's some deep stuff, man. Yeah, when I found out he died, I wanted to avenge him. Oh, <laughs> wanted to avenge him? <laughs> to break the shot. Okay, I you know, broke a shotgun. You know, I'm not going to say that because <laughs> we're probably going to get a lot of hate. Young Cobain shotgun aimed to the brain. I'm dead for days. Sorry, I need to go change my pants. I met it there a second. <laughs> <laughs> but um, if we're going over, all right, if we're going over my uh, favorite genre artists. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, did we do, uh... No, go ahead. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say straight up my favorite band of all time. I'll have to give them a shout-out. Mm. Okay, actually, I have three favorite bands. And I know two of them personally, and they're good friends of mine. My all-time favorite band, sorry guys, is Ninja Sex Party. With uh, Dan, uh, Brian Wecht and Danny Avedon. Nice. And their stage names are Ninja Brian and... You've shown me some of their stuff. I've showed you some of their shit, and they are fucking stupid, but hilarious. They're great. Um, Second favorite band is actually a band that I work for, and they're really good friends of mine. When I first met them, I was like starstruck, or what's the word, starstruck? Starstruck. Starstruck, thank you. (laughs) I was starstruck, so I'm like, I met them, and I'm just like, holy shit, actual musicians, and like, I wanted to impress them and be cool with them, and... I didn't even have to try anything. I just talked to them and they got to know me and they were like, hey man, you're a fucking cool kid. You want to be our roadie? And I will not lie, I shit myself when they asked wow. me that. 
and it was Easy white. Not even, not wow. even to this day. Wow, <laughs> it must have been tough. No, <laughs> I mean, I have to, I have to wear, I have to ride a wheelchair because my crusty ass is All right, just anyway, go covered, go just covered <laughs> in poopy. <laughs> oh my lord! And third favorite band. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> okay, hon. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, that's a big boy. <laughs> but um, my third favorite band is um, a band called Town Destroyer, and I met. The they destroy dr- towns. Yeah, you can say that. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> not H Town. No, they won't destroy. HGX H-Town. for life. Shut the fuck up. No sense. <laughs> but um, yeah, Town Destroyer. I actually met their drummer in court. <laughs> just, no, it's really funny because he and I kind of just a regular day. Pretty much. Yeah, 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 you know? Pretty much. I met him, and he's like, yeah, I'm part of the band. And we talked about how he got his tattoos. He has, like, really dope celestial body tattoos. Mm-hmm. Uh, Oblivion tattoos from Scott from um, Elder Scrolls. Yeah. Really cool guy, and their music is just phenomenal. That's awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. And um, actually, I was wrong. I have four favorite bands. And the fourth, my fourth favorite band, I showed you a lot of their shit. TWRP. Yeah, you did. Tupperware Remix Party. They are... Just great, just a great jam. Just, just get high and jam to. If you're, especially if you're into like, electronic '80s kind of thing. Yeah. It's it's just a just a nice fun time to listen to. Do you listen to the neighborhood? The neighborhood. The neighborhood. Yeah. No, I don't think so. No, check them out. They're pretty good. They're um from California. They're a they're a band. Oh, they're they from mostly South Cal- do yeah. South Cal Bra. Well, actually, I think from the Bay. I think they're from the Bay. They're from Baytown? I think so. I'm not sure. But uh, either way, they got a unique style. I, you've heard one, I'm sure you've heard one of their songs, Sweater Weather. Holes in my sweater. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. It's so, too cold oh, for you. We completely botched that, by the way. Yeah. So sad. We're not in our singing bag. Nope. Too many cigarettes and too many jewel shots. And too many monsters. Yeah, that too. We're trying to get. But we're not sh- here to fucking entertain oh. you. We're here to mansplain you. Oh, wow! Shout out to Aaron Hansen for that joke. <laughs> um, speaking of comedians, uh, you listen to Dave Chappelle? I have not listened to Dave Chappelle since his show. Yeah, he's got new stuff on Netflix. Really? Is he good? I, I think, think it's that's pretty a good. Dumb question he's getting me. a little more political than I would want. Like, what do you mean? Just Politically getting correct. a little too inspirational, uh, too deep, and I'm trying to laugh. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's more heart wrenching than. That's hard to believe because I mean Dave Chappelle. But he, I mean he has his moments, of course. Of course, I mean you know it, he's, it's, it's, it's he's hard, always it, funny. It's hard to believe because Dave Chappelle was always the like the one who pushed the fucking lines, especially on his TV show. Yeah, and now he's like trying to fit in the line. Fit in the line. That's, but you gotta expect that because times are he's tough. older. And times are tough, especially with comedians always having to like watch what they say. Exactly, it's a people tough are so time sensitive to be nowadays. Easily. I mean, like if you're sensitive, that's fine. It's just understand when a joke is a joke. Exactly. If you're going to see a comedian, expect to like hear some fucked up shit, but learn to see the humorous part of it. Yeah. Like not everything he is saying, not everything the comedian is saying is directed personally to you, the audience member. It's to everybody. Yeah. And plus. Most of the jokes are for them, you know. Exactly. Um, if you don't get it, that that's fine. But you know, there's other things that people find humorous that you might not find humorous. That doesn't mean they're racist or homophobic or, sexist or anything like that. Uh, it just means that they have a different sense of humor than you. Compared to you, your sense of humor is might be a little bit more dumbed down. Exactly. You're you know more, more dried out. I, I actually, you know, I wouldn't say dried out. Just, I guess more sensitive. Pan- yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. <sighs> Comedians are going through a tough time, so I can only imagine what, how even, like I don't even know how Kevin could even approach a stand-up. Kevin Hart. Yeah, because like there's so much shit that he has went through, and that he ha- probably has to talk about. So, how do you even joke without offending the people that are constantly being offended? Speaking of, um, segue to to another comedian. You know Tracy Morgan. Of course. This is an old... This happened like a long time ago. I would say maybe like a year or two ago. Mm-hmm. He made a joke about how if his son was born gay or t- yeah, came out gay, that. he would like, you know, beat... I think he was beat the shit out of him. Yeah, him he was like, what was that? But the, when, when he... The joke was, it was like... 
he'd be shocked. Like, you know, like, holy shit, like, I'd probably, like, hit my son if he was gay. You know? Like, in a, in a fit of, like... Um, of, of shock. Yeah, and basically just, you know, plasterizing and, and showing what uh, yeah. homophobic fathers act. How, how homophobic are homophobic fathers there let's t- let's just uh, let's just lay the cards on the table neither neither of us are homophobic oh of course not of course Shit. not i support everything like it's just as long as you don't like push it down my throat that you're gay or lesbian like you could be whatever you are you're born the way you are support one you could be a fucking pickle you could be a fucking pickle and i could and give have less sex with olives and i could not give less of a fuck i'd like do it <laughs> do you recommend it i yeah Put those olives in your pee pee hole. I'm just going on tangent. Yeah, just, like, Sorry, guys. <laughs> cock your dick like a shotgun and then just shoot olives out of it. Like Marcellus <laughs> Wallace. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Marcellus Wallace. Except the, the shotgun's from the dick. This I wish time. my shot. Wish the shotgun was my penis. Well, you can call me Ernest Hemingway. I don't get it, but I don't need to. Uh, Rick and Morty. Uh, Jesus. Rick and Morty. Speaking of Rick and Morty, Logic needs to get away from Rick and Morty. Logic. Yeah. What is he doing? Making it corny. Really? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Speaking of Rick and Morty, when the fuck is season four coming out, man? Dan Harmon, Justin Roiland, get on that shit. I love you guys too much to let y'all just fucking do your shit. Do, <laughs> not, not do your shit. Come on, guys. We're, we've been waiting too long. Mr. Just Poopy, fucking do it. I'm waiting to see Mr. Poopy Butthole with a shit ton of grandkids and a long Santa Claus beard. I want to hear that ooh-wee shit Morty. again. Oh, Morty. Oh. Morty, stop. You're too tight. Wait, what? Whoa. <laughs> Pause. And enough with the fan Pause. fictions. For God's sake, it's a ne- it's a grandson and a grandpa. Why do we need homo- homoerotic fan fiction of a grandson There's a lot and a of grandpa? incestual people out there. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Next thing you know... Wh- Speaking of incest and all that shit, how do you feel about what's going on with R. Kelly? What is going on with R. Kelly? Do He's I, finally do I, getting like do I even the shit know. he deserves. Over pissing on people? Well, <laughs> that too. <man. laughs> it's, you know, a lot more crazy shit. Wait, wasn't said. R. Kelly in that song so contagious? Yeah. So now, you, it's, yeah it's very. Touch me, baby. And what we've learned that a lot of his songs had like subliminal messages to rape and like youthful molestation. Oh, that's awful. And it's like, that man is sick. <laughs> That man said, y'all can't catch me, so I'm going to write a song about it. Ha ha, motherfuckers. Yeah. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Hard eyes, motherfucker. Rude die. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just spoiled Hunger Games, sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's fuck. It's been so many years since that movie and book was released, so yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter anymore. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, watch out. Sorry. As our setup crashes. No. Fuck. And then everything falls down. You see the ceiling cave in. <laughs> my hair falls out. My eyebrows rust. I implode. <laughs> my balls concave. Wow. My, my voice turns into a high-pitched squeal. Hey, everybody. <laughs> this was my voice back before I hit puberty. Hi, man. Now I can sing like Kurt from Glee. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Speaking of Glee, that fucking show was great, but fucked up at the same time. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of fucked up that sh- fucked up shit that happened in that show. It was still a good show. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. My mom got me and my um, aunt Cassandra into that show, mm. and like, there were moments when I st- when I lived with my grandparents, and me and my aunt Cassandra had to share a room. Mm-hmm. And uh, there were times when she had her boyfriend at the time, who is now her husband. Um. He would uh, burn movies for us. Like, he would just get movies for us and shit. Mm. And he downloaded the entire... Like, up to the, up to the seasons at the time of Glee. And, um, like, there, like when, I would, when I would be, quote, unquote, sleeping, I would just secretly watch the show, and I would just be like, wow. No, excuse awesome. the dogs. Mm-hmm. Ex- excuse the poopers. Excuse the doggos. You might hear dogs barking and shit. Yes. Speaking but of yeah. dogs, what kind of dogs do you have? I have a Chihuahua and Yorkie mixed. Uh, he's very furry and fluffy. Cute little His Russell. His name is Russell Herring. 
Russell Crowe Herring. That is awesome. And his nickname is Murmurch. Murmurch? Murmurch. What, what, pray tell, what came, who came up with that nickname? I think my father. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, don't want to speak, yeah. And what kind of puppy is Thumper? Um, she is still a puppy. Russell's an old ass man. I could not uh, tell. Yeah, he looks still looks young, but he's like eight or nine. God. Thumper is young, about two and a half years old, and looks like a beast. She looks like a beast. She's a uh, Rottweiler boxer mix. I could definitely see the boxer in the Rottweiler mix. Yeah, yeah. But uh, her uh, her tail isn't cut, so that shit hit hits like a whip. Oh, dude, same with my uh, same with my mom's dog, Ratchet. Ra- Ratchet? Yeah. Love, I love Ratchet. Ratchet is, like, the sweetest dog. And I can damn well guarantee you, he is the sweetest fucking dog in the world. He is pretty sweet. And uh, recently, uh, f- like, three or four months ago, we uh, recently got another pup, Rocket. I can't remember what breed she is, but she is a little live wire and an attention-seeking missile. <laughs> pretty much, like, any time, like... If my mom or me or my dad are just simply just calling Ratchet, we would just pet him on the head or, you know, give him some love. Here comes Rocket. You would just hear Rocket just like, like, tic tac on the fucking floor, and then yeah. boom. And within a blink of an eye, you'd see her right, ne- right there jumping on Ratchet's face just to get the attention that was for him. Wow. And it's a nightmare to walk her. Like, for my mom, it's easy because, I mean, she's used to, like, you, she's used to how Ratchet was when he was a puppy. And, mm-hmm. I don't know. And we also have a cat, Zoe, my dad's cat, who is the perfect kitten. Like, she's old as hell, but, like, she is sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm a cat person myself. I had a cat, Noodles, who was mm-hmm. a total dick. And uh, I didn't really take very well, ca- very good care of him, and I feel shitty for that. And so he, we let him out one day, and he never came back. And then we find out later that he was actually staying at the house two streets from our house. Getting Bruh. food in them. Bruh. I know, right? <laughs> Jesus. It sucks. Yeah, I've had Thumper and Russell run out. And Thumper always comes back, but Russell wants to... Explore? Go explore and get lost in a fucking ditch. Really? Yeah, he don't give a shit. It's a car up. could come and he'd just look at it. <laughs> what? I would say full of Brian Griffin, but that's too sad. Oh, God. Yeah, I wouldn't want to think of that. Yeah. He came back, though. That's good. <laughs> he came, he came Lighter back. side, he came back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> man. So how you been, man? Um, With, um, uh, you still dating your girl, Paula? No, I miss her. Oh. Uh, yeah, me and my girl, we're 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 working things out. Oh. You know, we're we're trying our best. We barely can see each other, but we make the most of our time. We try. Mm. You know, shout out to my baby. Love you. That's another t- topic we should t- touch on. Girlfriends? Long, no, long-distance relationships. I have been in quite a few. Yeah. How, how does that game work? Oh, man. Um, what I, advice can you give to some of the long-distance relationship couples out there? I'd say the best thing for a long-distance relationship is... Sex. No. Oh, oh, oh sorry. No. Oh. That's not even on the table. Oh, okay, good, dude. I mean, unless you, you don't just, have time for it, unless you can stick your dick through the fucking phone or the Skype screen, then by all means, go ahead. But um, in all seriousness, the best thing you're, for a, you're masturbated on live on a. I'm not at liberty to say it because my <laughs> I don't want to. I don't think we should. You, you, you getting your freaky bag on the Facetime? Oh my god! You nasty bitch, you. Oh, don't fucking <laughs> lie. You do the same shit. Hey, don't put your business out there. Yeah, don't. Don't fucking call me out, man. Hey, I ain't calling you out. You just did. No, you you could have denied. Deny, bro. Yeah. <laughs> deny. Don't tell anybody about this. I'll fucking deny, deny bro. Shout <laughs> out to Sausage Party and Seth Rogen. You're a fucking genius for that movie. Yeah. But um, the best. I could have did without the last scene, though. But I couldn't that's, live. That's, I, I couldn't live without it. You did. You did no, great. I could have definitely lived without it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bagel having sex with a lavage. Love, fam. I don't ever like. There was like <laughs> too much. But um, uh, for long distance relationships, the best thing. For a long distance relationship, is honestly, it's honestly the only thing that'll keep the relationship together until you re- until you're able to find the time to see them or find a way to see them is communication. Yeah. It, obviously, and communication Definitely. is always the best thing for a relationship because you'll know how each other feels. 
Honesty have, too. On, of course, honesty. That goes without saying. Oof. Honest. I mean, I, I I was a dick, and even when you think you should lie, don't. Yeah. Don't. Even the prettiest white lies could can come back. Can come back. Yeah. yeah. Just because you were having some insecurity of your mind, and it could be something small. I ain't saying you cheated or anything. That's different. Yeah. If you cheated, obviously you're that's a big f- fucking you're, deal. You're fucked up. And I won't lie. But if I, you're like, you know, if it's something like if you're lying about, you know, talking to homegirl at the fucking at your job for too long or some shit, yeah. you know, and you're lying about yeah, just, going out with the homies and shit, or then some that, shit that's like kinda, that. That'll, that'll send out some red flags. Yeah, then that's that'll, when that'll, the that'll honest, some, that's when the trust goes down. That's when you hear the fucking middle gear solid exclamation mm-hmm. point. Yeah. Yeah, you're I'm pretty out. good. But um, start shooting. At Pretty much. They'll fucking go ocelot on your ass. Pretty. Like, shout, out, shout out to Dave. Good. <laughs> a lot of shout outs. Today. Well, I mean, I'm sorry. It's always No, no, it's good. Yeah. It's good. Um, uh, I hope they appreciate these I shout-outs. hope so, too. I would really hope, though, because, I mean, like, if you're someone of high notoriety, like fucking Post Malone, Drake, or Dave Hader, who is the voice actor of Solid Snake from one through four, very, very, very great voice actor. And you know he's directing his own movies now? Yeah. Yeah, it's great. I uh, I can't remember what movie. I, I watched an interview about how, like, he was asked what was his opinion on him being replaced as him being replaced for um, Kiefer Sutherland in Metal Gear Solid Five. Mm-hmm. He was a really good sport on it, like really cool with it. Really, I mean, just imagine how like it, it was basically just like, oh, I mean, it's honored to be replaced by a great actor like Kiefer Sutherland, who is a great actor, a phenomenal actor. You ever, you ever saw you ever saw um, Designated Survivor? Yeah, great fucking show. Yeah, awesome show. Young Cobain with a shotgun aim, but a young Cobain with a. Yo, look, yeah, look, yeah, look, yeah, look, screaming, why, screaming, why, look, smoke so much dope. I'm coding it.